This is an introduction on how to pass the Autodesk Revit Certified Professional in Mechanical Design examination. I recently passed the exam in Revit um, 2024. So I will share some tips on how you can pass the exam. First, is the certificate worth it? In my opinion, it's worth it. It's a good badge in your resume and it's a way to show to your employer or potential employer that you challenged an exam in Revit and uh, you passed it. So the first step is to get good at Revit. For uh, according to Autodesk, you need to spend approximately 1200 hours working on Revit. But I think you can also in this uh, PDF that's from the uh, official official Autodesk website. So you can get it with minimum 400 hours to uh, recommended of uh, 1200 hours. Uh, did I have 1200 hours uh, or 400 hours? I think I didn't have this uh, number of hours. I just um, did like two projects in Revit. So the important thing I uh, want you to do is to just do a couple three four five projects uh, in Revit Mechanical so you, s you see how the uh, software works and uh, lots of the questions they need you to be uh, very familiar with uh, every uh, function and uh, uh, every uh, uh, thing in Revit so just uh, work with Revit every day for some months Second is uh, take the exam preparation course from the Autodesk website. It's a very important uh, course and uh, the exam, uh, sometimes the exam just comes from the mouth of the, uh, the instructor. So this is the, the exam that you'll get. I will put a link to the exam from uh, Autodesk. It's a 10 hour course course outline is just um, stru structured according to the, uh, the, the this PDF with the objectives from from Autodesk and this is these are the, the videos for me I took it lots of times maybe 10 times because um, I think I'm a slow learner but you can do it with uh, four or five times but you we need to don't pass any unit before making sure that you completely understand it and you apply it by yourself and sometimes if something is not very clear if not is if it's not explained clearly for me it was for example uh, the analysis uh, section or the design options or any any unit that you don't understand you, you need to go to YouTube and search for uh, another explanation and the third explanation until you feel like you grasp it completely and you need to do all the exercises and you need to uh, just uh, apply on a different uh, project not just adhere to the exercise files from the course so this is the second step so also uh, one example about how the exam is taken from the words that the instructor says is uh, there were a criteria for searching for family types for example um, like I want to put a, a so for example I want to insert a plumbing uh, fixture PX so when searching for for types of plumbing fixtures if I want to put this uh, water closet flush valve um, there is a criteria for searching I can write water and then space flush and then space uh, 6.1 I will get this one so you don't need to write it I exactly like it's it's written here you can just enter space and enter another word that's contained in the family but you cannot write water uh, water and underscore flush it will not work so this thing it did it, it was a question in the exam uh, like a multiple um, answer 
multiple answer questions multiple choice question and uh, so it was like what's the correct way of searching and what's the wrong way uh, of searching and this piece of information is just uh, it was uh, presented in the course so uh, some questions are just taken from the preparation course so now the third step is uh, there is also inside the course there is a preparation practice exam so if you go all the way down it's it's uh, the same exam it's in the beginning of the course uh, it's called see where do you start where do you stand this is the exam so you take the exam uh, also it's very important it's the same exactly the same style here um, that you will have in the real exam so the exam is not very uh, easy but it's not very difficult you can pass it if you uh, take your time to prepare and I will also uh, in the next few days or weeks I will be uploading uh, some of the questions that I, I had and uh, some explanations